So whatever it is he's got in him, we kind of think it's in his blood. His passion is his music. I can't believe that that's uh, my kid who was, he was 12 when he recorded that. Guitar made. It doesn't. It as you can see, the strings are very high off of uh, the fretboard, oh, so we need. Uh, you gotta keep it in there. I know. Oh, are you gonna play it? Yeah, I'm just gonna get the slide. That's the only way I'm able to play it. So where did that come from? On the day, uh, on the day before I was supposed to present this, this neck completely fell off, cause like the strings are too tight, cause there was nothing but glue here, and basically after that we just nailed or screwed it on. And now it's good. It's kind of strange because I, I, I never understood where, where his understanding of music came from. If he's playing a computer game on, on, the, uh, on the computer, I found it not too long ago that he's got YouTube on in the background and he's playing all this music. Oh, that's the coolest picture ever. Yeah. Bob, we usually have uh, lessons over at that couch and uh, he uh, asked, do you know who Jimi Hendrix is? I said, no, I do not know. And then he said, well, he's the greatest guitarist ever. So then I looked him up and listened to his songs and he was freaking amazing. Those are really good songs. Those are my favorite songs still today. He seems to find different ways to learn about uh, music, and I think what he does is, you know, puts that, puts that into his passion. He does a little bit of busking downtown, and I think that uh, the his teacher, uh, Robert Farrell, those two together are just like magic. They have a symbiotic thing, they just feed off each other and they barely speak to each other. You know, Bob just has to nod at him and Lee understands it's, it's this magic between them and I think if it weren't for that, um, you know, Lee would never be where he's at. Like I say, I've never asked him to practice. I've never said, you know, don't you think you should play guitar? Or don't you think you should play drums? Uh, you know, if that's his passion, then it's his passion. If it's not, it's not. Do what you want to do. That's the whole point of life, isn't it? What's the point of life if you're not enjoying something and learning more about that song that you want to do? So just do whatever you want. And besides, people keep on telling me to keep going or whatever that means, just keep trying, keep learning. If he's good at the age of 12, 13, or whenever, when he started eight, you know, he'll be good when he's 20. I think he can play uh, with, uh, with anybody. He's been asked many times, oh, just come on up and play. And to, to be that comfortable with people you've never met, you've never seen, never heard the music, you don't know anything about it, and get up there and play with them and, and do solos, uh, it's remarkable, truly remarkable. He has his own growing to do in, in that, in that skill set and uh, we just, we're along for the ride. I'm just kind of along for the ride. The roadie, I'll drive, pick up equipment. Uh, I don't know how to set it up, but uh, you know, 
carry stuff. <laughs>